Consider this question. A 12-bit Hamming code word is generated to detect 2-bit errors and correct 1-bit error in 8-bit data. The 12-bit code word is corrupted to give 00001110101. What was the originally generated code word? So we received a 12-bit word. We shall position the bits from right to left. 00001110101. Now it said that this word is actually corrupted. There is a 1-bit error in it. We have to find out what was the originally generated code word. We know that at the receiving side we extract the parity bits and the parities will be recalculated and all the positions powers of 2 will be reserved for the parity bits and other positions will be reserved for the data bits. So the positions 1, 2, 4 and 8 will be the parity bits. For the 8 bit data, 4 redundant bits are added. We shall check with the equation also. m equals 8, the number of data bits m equals 8. What should be the value of n to satisfy the condition 2 power n greater than or equal to m plus n plus 1. If n equals 1, the condition is not satisfied. If n equals 2, the condition is not satisfied. If n equals 3, the condition is not satisfied. And if n equals 4, 2 power 4 is 16, m plus n plus 1 is 8 plus 4, 12 plus 1, 13. 16 is greater than 13. The, the minimum value of n which should be added for the 8 bit data is 4. So there are 4 redundant bits or parity bits. P1 is 0, P2 is 0, P3 is 0 and P4 is 0. Now, we know that each parity bit will be taking care of a particular collection of data bit. To find out which are the data bits taken care of by each parity bit, every bit position can be considered as the sum of powers of 2. Thus, bit position 1 is the sum of 2 power 0, bit position 2 is 2 power 1, bit position 3 is 2 power 0 plus 2 power 1 and so on. Now the parity bit P1 at the position 2 power 0 will take care of the data bit at the positions 3, 5, 7, 9 and 11. Similarly, P2 at the position 2 power 1 will take care of the bit positions 3, 6, 7, 10 and 11. And P3 at the position 2 power 2 will take care of the data at bit positions 5, 6, 7 and 12. P4 at the position 2 power 3 or the position 8 will take care of the data at the bit positions 9, 10, 11 and 12. Now bit 3 is 0, bit 5 is 1, bit 7 is 1, 9 is 1 and 11 is 1. Check the value of P1. We are using even parity method. The number of 1s is even, hence the value of P1 is correct. Bit 3 is 0, bit 6 is 1, bit 7 is 1, bit 10 is 0, bit 11 is 1. Check the value of P2. The number of 1s is not even, hence P2 is wrong. Now bit 5 is 1, bit 6 is 1, bit 7 is 1, bit 12 is 0. Check the value of P3. P3 is also wrong. Bit 9 is 1. Bit 10 is 0, bit 11 is 1, bit 12 is 0. Check the value of P4. The value of P4 is correct. Number of 1s is even. This P4 is correct, set it to 0, P3 is wrong, set it to 1, P2 is wrong, set it to 1 and P1 is correct, set it to 0. The value 110 corresponds to bit position 6. It means bit position 6 is corrupted. Here the bit should be actually 0. How it works? We can see P2 and P3 is wrong. It means the intersection of P2 and P3 is 6 and 7. 6 and 7 are common in P2 and P3. So we can doubt 6 or 7. But since P1 is correct, it means bit 7 is correct. So the bit position 6 is corrupted. 
So while extracting the data from the card word, the bit position 6 should be corrected to 0. Now the data is 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 0.